From virtual reality to augmented experiences, are you ready? Welcome to the XR Club, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Welcome to the XR Club video series. My name is Jared McKenzie, and today we'll be going over Mobile VR Showroom. It's a high-definition showroom experience in virtual reality. To start, we'll go over a brief introduction of mobile virtual reality, followed by the differences between mobile and PC virtual reality. We'll look at what assets you should be using for this platform, followed by a short demo. So what is mobile virtual reality? It's the total replacement of the real world with a digital one. A mobile device is placed into a viewer, and then you place the viewer on your head, and you can view the experience. So in order to do mobile VR, you'll need two things. You'll need a mobile device, running Android 5.0 or iOS 11, and then a viewer, which could simply be a cardboard cutout or a solid plastic head-mounted display. Mobile VR offers three degrees of freedom, which is similar to the 360 style, where you get just rotation. So it'll track where you're looking in any direction. There is the ability to have click interactions, with this, uh, movement is possible. There's also the ability to teleport with a click or by using a focus, which is where you will hold your view steady at an object to highlight it and then uh, click it to interact with it. Newer phones even offer a higher definition rendering for a more immersive experience. So the mobile VR platform. The primary platform for mobile VR is Google Cardboard. Google's SDK offers easy integration with either Android or iOS. One of the benefits is that this will give you a large number of target devices as well as a very low cost for them, as most people can utilize their own uh, phone rather than having to buy any device. Now, different devices will offer a different re rendering capability, so the experience may change across devices. However, they will all offer the 360 degree look freedom as well as the capability of movement. So what's the difference between mobile and PC VR? Mobile VR or the Google Cardboard is low cost. It offers an untethered experience, which means there's no additional cords or cables required and no additional equipment required. It does not require a PC to be hooked to the device, as the mobile device will do all the processing. It will offer simple, single button interactions. Uh, most viewers do have a button that allows for this. There are some that do not, however. PC VR, which you'll obtain using a head-mounted display from sources such as the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift, these are a much higher cost solution as they require a head-mounted display as well as a high-end GPU machine. They are tethered, which means there will be a cord hooked from the device to the computer, limiting your movement and giving you obstacles. There is an option to upgrade to an untethered device to make your device wireless at an additional cost. Another thing about PC VR is that it will restrict your motion to a certain area as the Vive for example, requires what are called lighthouses to be set up within an 8x8 square, and they are not to be moved once they're set up, so you are limited to your experience in a specific area. Some other devices will allow you to set up your own area within any location, but it will still be restricted to the area that you are setting up. With that, though, the PC setup does allow for six degrees of freedom, meaning you can look any direction and the headset will follow, but also move any direction and the headset will follow, giving you a much more immersive, realistic experience. PC setup also allows for the use of special controllers. These are motion controllers that offer many different features from touchpads, multiple buttons, motion tracking, finger articulation, force feedback, and even sensory output in some of the newer devices. They'll offer high definition graphics as well as a multi-user experience as well. So how to make your application mobile ready? We need to use a lower poly asset. Uh, there are many things we have to consider with this. 
So our goals, we want to still give you a realistic immersive experience. So when we create our models, our 3D models, they should be created at a one-to-one -one scale uh, to give the user the impression of realism. The user can still move around the environment and look from any direction. So they will get the feeling of scale within the headset. They'll also be able to see any imperfections in your 3D model. So it is important to take the time to fully seal your model. So how do we accomplish this? We do low poly modeling. We use highly optimized channel packed textures to reduce the number of textures in the scene. And we have to be frame conscious. You want to keep a minimum of 60 frames per second to avoid any motion sickness that could be caused uh, by the device. And now to provide demo. Hello, and welcome to your personal showroom. Here we'll be touring a Ford Ranger in virtual reality at a one-to-one -one scale. We're using Google Cardboard to view the experience. We can look around, interact with different items using the clicker on the cardboard device. We can also use the clicker to move through the environment, change and interact with different objects. And even get a close up look at this brand new truck. Utilizing the newest technologies, we're able to get a high definition render even on a mobile device. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining the XR Club, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs.